blood donations from high school students account for nearly 10 percent of the New Jersey region's blood supply. Clifton High School students recently did their part to maintain this valuable resource during the Clifton Decca Daniel McGaster Memorial Blood Drive held at their school. During the biannual event, over 140 students and faculty made an important contribution to their community by either donating blood or participating in the collection efforts. Clifton students were also encouraging volunteers to register with the HLA Registry, one of the world's leading independent bone marrow donor registries and part of the National Marrow Donor Program. This is our sixth year in a row doing the blood drives, and each year it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. I'm proud to say that with today's drive, we're anticipating, I would imagine, over 120 units collected. It doesn't hurt, first of all. Um, just takes a while. Um, you get food, might as well, miss class. Um, and for a good cause. I mean, if you can help people, why not? In partnership with Community Blood Services, one of the region's largest blood suppliers, the blood drive offered Clifton students the opportunity to engage in valuable community service and become educated on the importance of donating blood and the impact they can have on saving lives. The blood that we collect is good for a very short period of time. It's only good for about 35 days. If it's not used, it has to be thrown away. And we have to get people to understand very early on, the students have to understand very early on how important it is. When you go to the hospital and you need blood, you just expect it's going to be there, but somebody has to roll up their sleeves to provide that product. It's important because people who like have diseases or get into car accidents sometimes lose too much blood. If they lose too much blood, they'll die. You know, this helps save people's lives. The blood drive was recently renamed in memory of former Clifton High School student Daniel McGaster. As a student, Daniel was actively involved in previous blood drives, and holding the drives in his memory helps to remind the current students of the importance of their efforts. We need to be involved. We need to be involved in our community. And if we help, it's good for our sense. You know, we're helping out. And we could be saving a life here. You know, we never know who may need this. And if my blood or someone else's blood can stop someone from dying, then I feel better knowing that my job is done. The blood drives also offer valuable service learning experience for Clifton students with the blood drive, how we tie it in, um, try to teach marketing skills, public speaking, uh, promotion, and all these elements are put together with the operation of the blood drive. What we do to set up the blood drive is we, um, we ask the school for some help. We have a special TV show that we have every morning and they put us on TV. This way the whole school really um, sees what we're doing and what we need help with. Another thing we do, we advertise around the school. We put posters up um, about when the blood, blood drive is going to be, where to sign up, and how, to, how old you have to be, about all the information about it. And then on the day of the drive, I assign, delegate to students um, responsibilities in terms of uh, intake where the students sign in. And my students help facilitate the movement of the students. Uh, from there, then they go on to the bus and actually donate. You got some filled out like paper asked you questions and stuff like that and then you came in here you had a blood test on your finger and then now it's time to get blood <laughs> his program here at the high school is really very unique i mean he really uh, engages the students in this whole process and it's really a, an example that other schools really need to try and follow from what i heard every time i donate blood i'm saving up to three lives and which makes me proud of what I'm doing. I hope that they take away with them that there are people less fortunate than they are. I'd rather have them be the type of person that says, aren't I the lucky one, and especially help someone else by helping others that maybe it will make you feel better and you can be stronger and then help even more people. That's the goal. To learn more about donating blood or becoming a volunteer marrow donor, visit Community Blood Services on the web at communitybloodservices.org.